Well, hi there friends. I'm so glad that you stopped by because I have another great recipe for you. This delicious Salisbury steak. Well, welcome back friends. If you're new here today, my name is Luann and this is Heart Filled Kitchen. Now before we jump into this, I just want to point out that I'm going to be making half of this recipe. But if you need the full version of the recipe, of course I'll link it down below. I'll put it in the description box and I'll add it to the comments so that it's easy to find. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is all you're going to need for this recipe. One pound of ground beef, one packet of brown gravy mix, some baby bella mushrooms, sliced Swiss cheese, one can of cream of mushroom soup, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and an onion. And that's all you're going to need to put together this delicious Salisbury steak. Okay, I've placed my one pound of hamburger meat on my cutting board. Now I'm going to top that with some salt and pepper. and garlic powder. Now, if you have a Lipton onion soup mix, you would now sprinkle that on the top and work it all in. Today, I am out of the Lipton soup mix, so I'm just gonna leave it out and it'll be just fine. And once you get the salt, pepper, and garlic work through all of your meat, just press that back out evenly. And then we're gonna divide that into four equal portions. Okay, pick up each one of those portions and mold it into an oblong hamburger patty. Make sure it's compressed good and tight, just like that. This is about a palm-sized portion. And you're gonna do that with each one of these. I'm going to place each one of these patties in my dish. Set that aside and now we're going to work on our gravy. Okay, I'm grabbing my pot, my brown gravy mix, and my soup. And we're going to head over to the stove. To the pot we're going to add the cream of mushroom soup. And then I'm going to fill that can with water. And now I'm going to whisk in the gravy mix. Okay, so to the pot, we have our one can of cream of mushroom soup, the one packet of brown gravy mix, and one can of water. Just refill your soup can with water, dump it in, and we're going to stir all this up until it starts to boil and then we're going to pour this right over our hamburger patties. Okay, it only takes a few minutes for that gravy to start boiling. I'm going to go ahead and pour that over our hamburger. Okay, so now that we have the gravy on top of all of our patties, we're going to go ahead and place this in a 400 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes until the hamburger patties are cooked through. Okay, while that's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get our onions and mushrooms ready. Now, instead of using this onion, I already have a red onion in the refrigerator that's been cut, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it instead. Now, I'm not a huge fan of putting a whole lot of onions in my recipes, so I'm just going to put a little bit, enough to saute up for my husband to put on top of his if he wants it. So I'm just going to do one slice. And now I'm going to work on the mushrooms. Now that I have my mushrooms washed, I'm going to go ahead and slice those up. Okay, I think that's plenty of mushrooms for this. Now we're gonna head over to our saucepan and get these sauteed in some butter. 
In my skillet, I have sprayed some olive oil and added two tablespoons of butter. I'm adding the onions first, because they'll take a little longer than the mushrooms to get soft. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms. If you need to add some more butter or oil, feel free to do so. Just whatever you need to do to get your onions and mushrooms tender. Okay, I'm done with this already. I'm going to turn off the heat. And now all we have to do is start working on the sides. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and corn to go with this. And then when the meat is done, I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, here it is out of the oven. It has an internal temperature above 165. And now here's what I do. I'm gonna take a slice of the Swiss cheese and place a slice on top of each patty. I might fold those over because these are small patties. But, oh, and I don't wanna lose all that cheese. There we go. Okay, those are just gonna have to be good enough. Let's see. There we go. Now I'm gonna spoon this hot gravy right on top of that cheese so it'll start melting. That was my timer just now going off. Because I only did one pound, it didn't take the full 40 to 45 minutes. It only took about 30 minutes to get these done. Okay, now I'm gonna plate this up and show you how delicious this looks. To start off, we're gonna put a big dollop of mashed potatoes on there. And now I'm gonna give my husband two of these. So I'm gonna rest it on the corner. Look at that, the cheese is already melting. Okay, so it's already looking delicious and we're not even done yet. Now, since this is my husband's, I'm gonna put some of those grilled onions right on top. And now the mushrooms. And now we're gonna spoon some more gravy on top of all of that. And be sure to get some on your mashed potatoes. And now we're gonna add the corn. Okay, there it is. Let me tell you, this is a hearty meal and it's very, very delicious. You have all of that gooey cheese underneath and the creamy gravy on top with the mushrooms. Mm, it's so good. Well, friends, if you enjoyed your time here today, I hope that you'll give this recipe a big thumbs up and I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Until next time, remember to put your whole heart into everything you do and you'll have a heart-filled kitchen too. Hope to see you next time. Bye.